Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a fun skincare video for you guys. I wanted to go ahead and try out one of the popular new brands. Today I'll be reviewing the Pacifica line for you guys. They have a couple of different skincare lines, so I picked the one that had the most products in my Ulta, and I tried to find most of the items that I use during my normal skincare routine so that I can give a first impressions review for you guys. If you guys are interested in this Pacifica skincare first impressions review, then please keep on watching. do have a little bit of makeup on, concealer, a little bit of foundation, blush and bronzer, and my mascara. I just did a quick makeup look to run errands, so I thought it'd be perfect to wash this off with their first product, which is the Rose Kombucha Flower Powered Face Wash. So I have my water here, and the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and try their cleanser and see how well it removes this makeup. So the consistency is just clear, kind of like a gel cleanser, which I like gel cleansers. Alrighty, so I wet my hands and it foams up like this. And we're just going to wash away. It smells amazing. And it lathers quite a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and use a rag with water and take this off so we don't make such a mess. Alrighty, so now that it's all removed my makeup, my skin does feel nice and silky still. Um, it doesn't feel like super dry and tense, like some cleansers make you feel like it's stripped all of the moisture. It doesn't feel like that. It feels nice and smooth. The next product we're gonna be trying out is the Rose Water Cleansing Tonic. And this is a rinse-free cleanse. It removes stubborn makeup, but it is also a toner. It's rose extract infused and it's good for all skin types. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these cotton pads that I use when I tone my skin. So I just saturate the pad a little bit and then I just go around my face. Oh, this smells amazing. So far, all these products smell amazing. So I gently go around the bottom of my eyes, my chin. I love to focus on my forehead. <laughs> okay, so I used two and it removed quite a bit of extra makeup I had on my face. When I went in with the second one, it wasn't as much, but it did remove some extra makeup that I still had left over after the cleanser. It feels nice as well. I didn't burn when I was putting it around my face, so that's nice. Some toners, they burn my face a little bit because I do have sensitive skin, but this one did not, and once again, it smells amazing. Okay, so after I have washed my face with their cleanser and I've toned my face with their toner and makeup remover, the next step I am going to do is a face oil. So they did have a face oil. This one is the Super Flower Rapid Response Face Oil, and it is for all skin types, and it is 100% vegan and cruelty-free. I love that it brings a dropper like this. I like this with my face oils because it makes it less messy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take three drops and I'm going to pat it in my skin. So this doesn't have much of a scent. It has more of a clean scent and I'm enjoying that because the two products that I just used did have a nice rose scent. So I like that this is a little bit more toned down because it is going to remain on your face for the rest of the night. Three drops were sufficient for my face and neck. So the face oil is on and it feels nice and lightweight. I feel like my skin has a nice layer of hydration, 
but I don't feel like I just drenched a lot of oil and it's making my face uncomfortable. It's been a couple minutes since I went ahead and placed the oil and it's seeping into my skin and it feels super nice. So next we're gonna go ahead and moisturize our skin. I did find a moisturizer with this line and it is called Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream. This one claims to minimize the appearance of fine lines, deeply moisturize and promote a lifting effect and it improves radiance. I'm excited, all things I want. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna use about two pumps. Rub it together. Feels super lightweight already. Mm. So this one does not have an intense smell. Kind of smells like the oil. Nice and just clean, a clean smell, lightweight. Alrighty, so it's been on for a couple of minutes and I love how glowy and healthy my skin looks. And it doesn't feel greasy. I usually use a gel moisturizer because I have oily skin, but this one doesn't feel greasy at all. It feels nice, lightweight. Like I said, clean scent, not overpowering the smell. So now we're moving on to the last step of what I usually do in my skincare routine. And I was able to find one with this skincare line and it is my under eye cream. So I found the Rose Jelly Beauty Sleep Under Eye Gel. This under eye cream has cooling glass roller balls that are going to deliver the gel underneath your eye. So this is what they look like. And you just twist the cap over to the on side and I believe we just squeeze. So this is what it looks like once you squeeze. The directions say to roll it underneath your eye. Ooh, it feels really nice. Wow, that does feel really nice. Then the directions say to tap it. And always ladies, tap with your ring finger. It is said to be the most sensitive finger you have. And your under eye area is extremely sensitive. Okay, so this under eye cream seeped in pretty quickly into my under eyes. So I have a cooling sensation, not an extreme cooling sensation, but I do feel cool under my eyes. Okay guys, so I just finished my skincare routine using these Pacifica products. I used their cleanser, their toner, their face oil, their day and night moisturizer, and lastly, their under eye cream. So for my first impression on Pacifica skincare products, I absolutely love them. I've had it on for about a half an hour now and my skin is still glowing. Nothing irritated my skin. Everything laid on my skin pretty nicely. I feel super hydrated but not oily. I have this glow and I love anything that gives me a glow. If you guys have tried any of these products or any of the other Pacifica skincare line products, please let me know if you guys have any questions. Also, please ask them in the comments down below. And all the products that I use today will be mentioned in the description along with the prices that I paid for them at Ulta. And like always guys, please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.